So after building a PC and having the urge to build another, I decided to take some old parts and see what I could do with them. I had a motherboard, CPU, RAM, power supply, graphics card and a few old hard drives. I was inspired by an old Linus Tech Tips video of to make a PC test bench so I could fiddle around with the parts and take them apart. To begin with I had to take my old PC case, which I didn't mind sacrificing, and drill out all the rivets. There aren't many screws holding this together and it left me with this metal shell. I put in the gap that was left open at the top two short pieces of wood and screwed them in at either side. This made a box. On top of that I took the inside of the PC, which was now loose, and screwed it to the top. This is now the test bench, test bench bed. As you can see I had to get a motherboard and try it out because certain parts of this are not connected together, they're all individual, so I had to screw them down and make sure it fit. And it left me with this. It's brilliant because it's got a massive opening underneath the motherboard where I can put in um, sort of, I can have back plates for coolers and whatnot. Uh, it'll keep it nice and cool and it gives me a big storage area underneath where I can tuck away cables, screws and bits and bobs. Loads of metal shards were left over when I finished with this, so make sure you get rid of them or they'll short your motherboard. Once it was all cleaned up and given a wipe down, I sprayed it with a primer to give it a white coat. I did this from a few different angles and covered it with loads of paint. Make sure if you're using a plastic sheet you weigh it down with rocks otherwise it'll flap up and ruin your paint job. I then added a grey colour to keep it nice and mute and nice and simple and it's also what I had lying around and it looks quite nice. So that got a couple more coats to make it tough. So there is pretty much the finished product with nothing attached to it. Soon I took it upstairs and I got some bits on it. Here you can see I had the leftover USB and audio and on top you can barely see it but that black part is the power switch and LEDs and there's also a card reader. I kept them and screwed them on the underside of one of the uh, wooden beams. That was nice and easy. So now I've got all the cables to plug into the motherboard. I've got a storage area where I can stick the hard drives, screwdrivers and any cables I'm not using. I actually end up putting a mouse mat down here to stop vibrations from the motherboard. Uh, the hard drive. So here's the back with a PC in place. You've got your big graphics card there, you've got a pa modular power supply and I've got a little um, HP something, um, H61 I think, motherboard and it's got a stock cooler on it with uh, an old CPU and some low profile RAM. There's a view from above. above. The big fat uh, GTX 970 would never fit in that case so now this text test bench lets me slip it in and try it out. So there's it running from one angle. Here's the PC running and you can see um, me moving around. You can see how much stuff I'm stashing underneath. Loads of cables are tucked away underneath there. Um, it's running Manjaro, uh, so it's a little Linux, Linux sorry, uh, gaming play thing. Um, I'm having a go at running Steam on that, seeing if it works. It keeps uh, locking up on me, so I'm not really sure if that's drivers or just Linux or what. Um, there's the system running, there's the hard drive stashed away, that funny cable floating around is like a, uh, an antenna for that motherboard so I didn't want to screw that in place because that motherboard's not staying. There's the cooler, very small motherboard, low profile RAM, a GTX 970, all the front panel audio, all the modular cables. Oh and that little metal tab there, when I press that down that releases the power supply and when it's up it's clipped in place so I don't have to screw that power supply in place, I can just whip it in and out if I need more space. If I want to put that underneath and have a bigger motherboard I can do. There's my iFixit tool kit and a lot of screws that are still left over um, and there is uh, the system. Now since then I have actually also uh, updated it with a new system so it's got a new motherboard and new cooler everything else is the same as you can see the cooler is massive it's a Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 3 I think which is the worst cooler to have to attach you have to screw in from the bottom with the back plate it's just a nightmare terrific but it is really quiet and really effective I ran out of thermal paste so that's got liquid metal on it uh, I actually sprayed that all over the motherboard but I managed to clean it all up and it hasn't shorted yet Thanks for watching, links in the description.